Last time we uh, stopped here at the amazing tulips, which had just been dumped uh, last summer onto the ground and they started flowering. So I thought we'd just go up because uh, I noticed a beautiful flowering cherry. There's a little blossom coming up. This is a very old tree. I think it's the wife of Bath. towards the um, autumn border. It's amazing to have a garden which is big enough to have a dedicated border for the autumn. But it is a lovely time of year. And just anyway, let's just concentrate on the spring. And uh, there is the cherry in question. Let's have a closer look at it. It's called Fragrant Cloud which is the uh, translation of the Japanese name for it. And it certainly is a cloud of blossom. Beautiful. And we've been so lucky to have these blue skies to view the blossom against Pull away from it now. You can see the lilac starting to come out next to it. A deeper, a deeper colour which contrasts rather nicely. Now we can see the <coughs> cherry. The magnolia satisfaction and some of that deeper purple blossom of the lilac, Catherine Havermeyer. And down near the, um, looking down towards the summer house, there's a bush, fragrant bush, the rhododendron, Harry Tag, with its fragrant funnels. Hmm, my goodness me, yes, very fragrant. Absolutely packed with flower. Harry Tag. Now walking up towards the uh, obelisk, we see on the left the flowers of uh, the hyacinth, so-called hyacinth flowered lilac, syringa, hyacinthiflora, Esther Staley is her name. More delicate flowers than the ordinary um, commercial lilacs. And just as scented. And we're moving around now to the Circus Chinensis Avondale. Really quite a lot of colour in the border now here, from the obelisk down to the summer house. With the uh, lilacs, the cherry blossom, 
and the Chinese Judas tree. And the back here I uh, planted a seedling of what used to be called Michaelia wilsoni, now Magnolia ernestii. But this seedling I think is remarkable in that it's got beautiful red buds and uh, the normal one uh, one knows has, has got green buds. So this sets off the yellow flowers which will be coming out fairly soon. And there are a few already up near the top. I'm looking forward to another day or two of this weather and we might actually see some red buds and yellow flowers which is a wonderful combination of Magnolia Ernestii. Come down to the tennis court. Come on Bertie. Past the famous and very rare in cultivation anyway. Let's see a popular folia. Roy Lancaster told me that there's masses of it in China, but can you get it to propagate here? No, you can't. Show you another cherry, which I love. Double white flowers, all nicely scented, of course, coming out of uh, red buds. And nestling under it is uh, a very young tree of Magnolia Raven. First two flowers ever. And a slightly paler inside. There it is, nestling. Nestling in the cherry. Shimitsu Sakura is the cherry. Pass some rhododendrons, pen heel blue. And really the most remarkable new growth on this Japanese maple, which I'll show you. Stunning colour. This one is called Asa Japonica Shishio Improved. Certainly improved, I don't know what the Shishio originally was like, but Shishio Improved is certainly a magnificent colour. behind it still flowering is the gardenia scented magnolia mordii the other way. We've come up against the magnificent Berberus Val de Vienna from Chile. It's now grown massive. It must be about 20 something years old I think. Absolutely dripping with flowers. Here has red rhododendron. Rhododendron Emma Williams.
Here we have the um, evergreen stachyurus, the willow leafed stachyurus. You may remember from a previous video, stachyurus magpie. Well, this one is certainly packed with flowers and it's evergreen, later flowering the magpie. Rhododendron common behind. Just come down the old drive, back down to the old house. There's some nice flowers on the Kelly Adult sofa. Beautiful scent. Fortunately, you can't smell it. <laughs> back through the gate. And through the gate, last back here is magpie. And then one of the wild bulbs, mainly cowslips here, but uh, also tulips, canassia. Fritillaris, bluebells. Wonderful, really. They're about to come out. Everything's happening at once. And back we go.